Hi Year 6, my name is Mrs Hall and I'm one of the art teachers at Albi Academy. Unfortunately, due to coronavirus, I'm talking to you today from home, but on the positive note, you get to meet my dog Dolly. So say hello doll, she's Dolly. So spending more time at home has given me the opportunity to plan lots of exciting activities for you to do when you start in September. When you arrive at Albury Academy, you'll see on your timetable that you have an art lesson once a week for a term and a half. This means some of you will have to wait until February to do art. That's right, Dolly. But in the meantime, you'll be enjoying creative art lessons, including dance, drama, music. It will definitely be worth the wait for art. So what is art like at Albury Academy? So art is fun, interesting and challenging. I know you've all come from different primary schools and will have done lots and lots of different things, which I look forward to hearing all about. But you'll be improving and building on those, those skills, but you'll also need to be ready to, and open to learning lots of new ones. Uh, we will look at line, tone, shape, form, colour, pattern and texture. Um, we'll also learn a bit of art history and we'll look at the work of some famous artists. You'll learn some new drawing techniques. Um, you'll have a go with lots of new materials. So hopefully you'll enjoy working with oil pastels, paints, um, pencil crayons. Um, and you'll also learn some new art vocabulary as well. Um, I'm really looking forward to meeting you all and seeing what brilliant ideas you come up with your, for your transition art home, uh, work. Um, and this is what we'll focus on in the first week you come back to Albury. Um, you'll also be shown around our lovely big art rooms and you'll see where everything's kept and you'll also um, find, see what sort of the room, how the room helps support your learning. Um, you'll need to come prepared for every art lesson with a pen, rubber, sharpener and ruler, but just as important to as the, the equipment, you need to bring a really positive attitude and you need to be willing to learn in every lesson. Um, for those of you that love art, we've got an art lunchtime club where you can come and relax and do art activities and you can meet other students who love art too. Um, I really hope you're looking forward to starting at our school as much as I am to meeting you all. If you want to keep busy with artwork, there's lots of online videos. Um, they help to improve your skills and you can all even go and have a look around a virtual art gallery. Um, but you know, lots of you just love drawing and doodling and doing artwork and anything you do is a positive thing. It's really good for your skills, but also for your mental health. OK, hope you all have a safe and relaxing summer holiday and I'll see you all in September. So bye, Dolly. Bye. Hello and welcome to all of our new year sevens that are coming up to us in September at Albury Academy. My name is Miss McDonald and I'm part of the dance team here at your new school. I'm really, really proud to work at Albury because we have such an amazing performing arts team and we all work together really, really hard and we believe so much in the importance of the arts in school. We pride ourselves in offering you loads and loads of opportunities to explore your creativity because we know how important that is. During this video, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about what we do, what your lessons might look like and some of the things that you will study. First thing I'm going to start with is just to touch upon the facilities that we offer here. You are so lucky to be coming to a school with brilliant facilities. We've got two dance studios at this school. I'm currently standing in just one of them and this is actually the smaller of the two. The other one is a purpose-built dance studio and it's got a mirrored wall, it's got a rigged lighting and it's got a full speaker system as well and that's where you will be having your lessons. Over the course of year seven, you will be looking and studying different styles of dance so that you can experience all of those different things and different cultures as well. In year seven, when you start, you will look at dances from around the world. You start with street dance, you look at Bollywood dancing and you also do capoeira dance, which is like martial arts. After that, you go on to do a case study of Michael Jackson. You look at his famous dancing and yes, you will get to do the moonwalk. After that, we finish the year on rock and roll dance from the 1940s and 50s, which is really, really fun to do. Throughout all of those topics, your teachers will also help you to develop lots of skills in dance. You will look at performance skills, which is where you develop yourselves in performance. We want you to be able to confidently perform in front of others and also make sure that your routines are put together and really rehearsed well. 
We will also get you to look at choreography, how to make up dances, how to put them all together and how to work with each other to do that. And those are just some of the things that we will do. Currently, at the, mo at the moment, I know that you're all at home, guys, and it's a little bit uncertain. It's a little bit of a challenging time. So some of the best advice that I can give to you is to make sure that you are keeping yourself active while you're at home. Dancing is a great way to do that. Whether you are looking on YouTube, following professional videos and doing workshops, or you just simply put your favourite song on in the kitchen and dance along to it. Everything and every little bit of that is going to help your physical, but also your mental health as well. And that is really, really important. Get your family involved, get out and stay active. I hope you're all safe and well at home and I can't wait to meet you all in September. Bye. Hello, my name's Mrs. Rowan Windridge and I'm a drama teacher at Albury Academy and I can't wait to meet you. It's so exciting. When you join our thriving drama department and our fantastic school, you're going to learn so many new skills and meet so many new people. Your drama skills are going to help with all of that interpersonal communication. Now, some of you may have done some drama before. You may have even been on the stage, a primary production, a school play, or even been on TV. I welcome all of that. And I can't wait to see the talent that's going to walk through these doors in September. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a little bit shy. I'm not going to force you. We'll take our time. We've got some smaller projects that we can run. And there's also a drama club on a Monday lunchtime and a Wednesday lunchtime for you to get involved in. That's on top of your weekly drama lesson. So don't be scared. We're all in it together and we're a team and I will build on those skills and you will become confident. As for the drama curriculum, in year seven, we start off looking at knife crime and that's based on inner city issues that lots of cities have on how to deal with the effects of knife crime and if you know someone what do you do who do you go to what advice can you give them these are the questions that will be raised and i will help you to answer through drama we'll then go on to a scheme of work called the evacuees so we look at it, the historical past using drama and it's a fantastic scheme that links to today's society You'll then learn some pantomime skills, which are absolutely fun, and we'll get the masks out and do some mask work. And then I'll take you around the world and we'll look at theatre from Japan to India and back to the UK. We also have a summer project yet to be announced. It's a bit of a top secret, but we'll learn some new skills there and look at some play text. And this will also build and prepare you for the last one which is musicals, an introduction to musicals and it's a fantastic scheme. So if you're a little bit shy or you're a bit of a diva like me, don't worry, drama will suit you and there's nothing to be scared about especially when joining a new school. We're all a team and we can't wait to see you at Albury Academy and I can't wait to meet you in drama. I want you to have a fantastic summer, see you soon, take care. Hello, I'm Mrs Whittingham and I'm in charge of music at Albury Academy. Um, we're part of the Creative Arts Faculty, so that's art, drama and dance together with music. We all work together and we're really good friends as well. So at Albury Academy, the music department is located on level four of the main block. So we're right at the top, as far as you can go, and um, the top floor and we have the whole corridor up there. So within reason, we can make as much noise as we want to. Um, up there, you will see two big teaching rooms where you have your main lessons in, but there's also four practice rooms, which are smaller rooms with either a piano, drum kit, guitars in for individual and small group practice. And then there's also the recording studio where we can get professional recordings done as well. In the teaching rooms, one is a keyboard room. You're used to playing keyboards. You may have done that in primary school. Um, and the other room is a computer room where we do music production. So it's Mac software. We have about 23 workstations in there and you will produce music, especially as you go through the school years, year nine, year 10, and year 11. So now the first thing that you do 
when you come into year seven is that you'll have a baseline test just so we see what you know already or whether you play an instrument if you've taken any grade exams anything like that um, so no pressure we're just finding out where you are to start off with and then we go on to the topic of keyboard skills a bit of music theory and then focus on the musical elements and um, you would have done some of these things in primary school but we recap a lot of it because it goes all the way through your music up past year 9 into year 10 into year 11 and beyond so it's really important so in keyboard skills as i mentioned before and we look at a piece of music we look a bit at the background and then we work on using good technique so we're not playing melodies with one finger anymore like this we're going to be playing with two hands, one hand playing accompaniment and the other hand playing a melody. That's what we start off with and then we work on that technique. And even if you say, well, Mrs. Whittingham, I don't want to be a piano player. Um, it's not just for that because you can use these skills um, in many areas. If you're doing music production, do studio work or make CDs, you will need to know your basic keyboard skills. Then we move on to cartoon music. Now in cartoon music, we've been a bit creative. We've extracted the soundtrack from a cartoon clip and then you and your teams will have to recreate the music and the sound effects using any instruments that you can find. Maybe not even instruments. If you haven't got an instrument that you can play, you'll find and see how everyday objects can make sounds that fit. The third half term is focusing on world music and we directly look in the Caribbean. We do a bit of work on reggae music. We look at the background and the history, where it was formed and important people that made reggae famous. So as we prepare to go into year seven, it's daunting, but please don't be scared. Just see it as a new challenge. It's quite exciting really, because there's all these new things for those of you that are musicians already, um, we can hopefully work with you to build on those skills. Those that aren't musicians or musical, we hope to gain some new skills. We just work on where you are at the moment and then hopefully just build your skills so you'll come out learning something new. So I would say take care, stay safe. I'm really looking forward to teaching you in September. Bye bye.